Hello. Oh, schön, schon so viele. Ich hoffe, Eva kommt gleich, aber vielleicht habt ihr es ja schon gesehen. Sie hat es auch vorhin schon in ihrer Story gepostet, also gehe ich mal stark davon aus, dass sie gleich dazu kommt. Die neue Bravo kommt nächste Woche. Aber danke für die Nachfrage. <lacht> Seid gespannt. Ähm, Livestream dazu ist dann am ähm, Montag. Das stellen wir euch dann alles vor. Ja, <lacht> yeah, I'm excited too. <lacht> Hope she joins soon. Yes, I'm waiting too. <laughs> um, well, you could ask some questions in our uh, story. There is like this um, story ask, ask some questions button. And yes, I have all of them here on my other phone. Yes, and I, I will try to ask her as much as possible. <laughs> I can ask something from here too. So if you have any questions, you can also post them here in the comments. But I hope I'll see them. <laughs> I'm trying to ask her as much as possible, but I think we have about 30 minutes, so I'll squeeze in as much as possible for you. <laughs> yes, where is she? I don't know where she is. <laughs> She is. Come, come. Hey. Hi. How are you? Hi. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Um. Wow. Okay. Let's do this. It's 9 a.m. here. It's early for me. <laughs> yes. I guess so. 
but but in Germany it's 6 p.m. now so oh really <laughs> yes <laughs> isn't that crazy how it's so different in every part of the world it is it is it's it's totally crazy I, I can't really I, I, I feel like you can't really imagine that that it's uh, weird yes it is so weird so in some yeah. parts of the world it's only midnight or something and here is the, the day is basically over nearly over but yes 100 percent. how are you how are you doing in quarantine well, I'm I'm holding up doing my my live interviews from home from my uh, sofa. <laughs> yeah, I mean I mean I'm me in my kitchen. So <laughs> Well, same for you, but thank you so much for your time. Um you too. thank you. Your, your fans are so excited. They're all all commenting here. Since Hello. 6 p.m. <laughs> very very uh, <laughs> on point everyone. So well, uh, what we'll be doing is um, they um, all of your fans could send some um, questions for you. And yeah, I'll just um, try to uh, ask you as much as possible in our time. <laughs> so yeah, first of all, um, uh, a lot of them were also wondering uh, how you are doing in quarantine, what you're doing, how you're holding up, how you're passing your time. <laughs> Oh, um, that's a good question because I in the be okay. So in the beginning of quarantine, when it first started, I literally I'm not even kidding you. I was eating my brains out. I was cooking all day long for like a month, and and all of a sudden I couldn't button my jeans. And I go, hold up, what am I doing? I like acted as if it was Christmas break. I was baking cookies. I was like making like the most unhealthy food. Now I'm like, all right, it's time to get back in shape. So yeah. I'm working out a lot more. I'm like, I'm meditating. I'm, I'm definitely writing more music. I have a home studio. Um, and of course, watching some TV shows. I've kind of like backed off on watching TV too, because I was watching a lot like of TV. So I was like becoming a little couch potato. <laughs> well, I guess we are, we, we all did, but because none of us knew how long it'll take. So I, yeah. I, perfectly okay to yeah in, in yeah I felt like size. yeah I felt like it was the end of the world to be completely honest I felt like it was like the end the beginning of quarantine felt like the end of the world yeah yeah I felt <laughs> and uh, you just said that you're now uh, starting to exercise again um I also read in the comments that they are wondering how you are exercising what are you doing <laughs> I'm running outside of my neighborhood, six feet apart. <laughs> I'm yeah. running. I'm just running. And I think running is really great. Um, and uh, what else? I, I try and do, like, push-up stretching, like, some YouTube activities. Like, it's it's hard in the house when you don't have a gym. But it's 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 sure. it's also hard to motivate yourself. So, we have, <laughs> we have to, like, you know. But some days I don't. I don't do it every day. I'm not consistent. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't think that you have to do it every day, but because uh, it, it has to be fun too, so you don't have to exactly. Uh, well, force yourself, so it should be like something you you love to do. So, yeah. okay. where in Germany are you? Where uh, in Munich? I'm oh, amazing! I have cousins in Munich. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Oh, great! Yeah. <laughs> so you've been here, I guess. Uh, yes, quite. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, next, you already mentioned that you are writing music because you have your own home studio. Um, can you tell us a bit about that? So, um, what's going so yeah, on? it's just it's just basically me alone. No, I'm just getting no. Um, I work with a producer named Circuit, and we're yeah. making really fun music. And you know, it's fun when you're bored to make music and write songs. And so, I definitely am happy I have a home studio because if I didn't, I would go even crazier. <laughs> <laughs> True. I, I guess it's it's really um, important to well um, have something to do, like any kind of hobby, drawing, exercising. So just just I agree. Rain off this crazy. Thing. Anything creative is good. I think when I don't get creative one day, I go, I go like I don't know, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you completely. So. Um, because I have been asked, I, I have to put some of the questions in here so that you can see them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I am going through this. Um, oh. Hi, everybody. Everyone say hi. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were all, all really excited to see you. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, maybe this one is good. So can you see it? 
Ava, do you have to say, do you have a say about your next single that's coming soon? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. This is a tough one because I am like, I have this, I have a mouth where I just spill everything and it's so hard. Like, I just don't know how to just like, you know. <laughs> don't tell too much. <laughs> I know, so I'm a little nervous. So this next single, <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm sorry, guys. There was, my, my phone almost killed me. Um, so this next single <laughs> is like similar to Sweet But Psycho. It has some psycho elements to it. All yeah. I can say is that we are entering a dark world. <laughs> Dark world, okay. So more serious or more serious than than your songs. I, I can say it's impossible for me to release a non empowering female anthem. So it's definitely a female anthem again, and it's hard for me not to. It's weird. It's like how I am. And so here we yeah. go, another female anthem. <laughs> well, that I, I guess that's what we need, and all all of your fans love you for that. So. Thank you. I'm sure that they love that too. Um, you just released uh, one new song um, for the Scooby-Doo movie. Is that right? Yes, On Me. Oh my God, that was hilarious actually because I did my own music video in my living room by myself and I had the director on Skype or on Zoom and yeah. I freaked out because I was like, "This is there's no way I'm going to do this. Like, how am I going to do this? Like, by myself, really? But they came and like they set up the things without like they sent it in the mail and then I'm like I put it on Zoom and it was quite easy actually I did it a few times um, and then as you see the music video <laughs> looks the way it is so yeah I'm really proud of it and I'm I Kane Brown and Thomas Rhett are so talented yeah it's 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 um, well I I think it's a it's a really Uh, it has a really deep message, this, uh, uh, so put it on me, um, kind of <laughs> song. And yeah, everyone loves Scooby-Doo, so. <laughs> yes, who doesn't love Scooby-Doo? Oh my gosh, yeah. I grew up in Scarlet, listening to the music of Scooby-Doo, <laughs> watching the shows, the, yeah, the movies, yeah. And um, uh, some some of them are also, uh, were also asking about maybe other collaborations you are planning or you are wishing for. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't wait to release these things. But right now, all I can say is there's definitely a lot of good music coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's uh, <laughs> our being secretive, but that's okay. <laughs> no, but like uh, definitely, definitely collaborations. I feel like I'm, I'm always wanting to do collaborations. It's something that um, <laughs> is exciting for me to collaborate with other artists in different genres. Yeah, I, I think that this all is, is always a really great thing because then it's just like a mix of these creative souls and, and, and people. And then I, I think every time something great comes out of it. So thank you. Yeah, it's definitely. So we have one next question here. <laughs> Do you see it? So what's your favorite? Oh, what's your favorite song you have released? Oh, your, so, so, oh. <laughs> so, so far. Um, Yes. My favorite song I have released so far. Ooh, this is a tough one. I love I love all my songs. Um, I would say So Am I. Okay, why is that? I think, I think So Am I because when um, the song came out, I mean, I get a lot of great response, obviously, from my amazing fans all the time. But when So Am I came out, it was like an anthem for everyone. Not, I mean, not just females, but everyone. So it was something like, you know, if you feel like you're in a box, and you need to break out of that box, and you're different, that's who the song is for. And that's basically all of us. So, yeah. So Am I was for everybody. And I, I mean, that song was really special for me, too, because I was traveling the entire world for the first time, and I was singing that song, and Sweet But Psycho, of course. But yeah. it, was, it was a very memorable time in the beginning of my career when that song came out. I was just, I was just on the go. It was, it was like nonstop. So... That song, for sure. There's a lot of amazing memories around that song. Would you also say that this is maybe your most personal song that you ever wrote and brought up? Or um, I think for me personally, each song has a different meaning. Mm -hmm. um, for me, this song is more, it's more for everybody and, and myself included, but it's for, mm -hmm. it's for everybody. It's for anyone who's ever felt like 
different and I think all of us have felt different and I think that's such a powerful thing um, to empower everybody in the world. So, yeah. yeah. But some, someone in the comments just asked if you ever felt like a misfit. I, I guess you did because otherwise you wouldn't have written the song. But Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> How are you feeling about, about that right now, maybe? I mean, it's funny. I get so much love right now on the internet, everywhere. That was not the case in middle school or, you know, when I was growing up. That was not the case. I grew up, like, wishing I had a close group of friends that I could hang out with but no it, that was like it was it was different I, I would move around a lot I lived in South Carolina for a couple of years I lived in Virginia then I moved to California when I was 14 because I won a singing competition so I was always up and down different yeah. places different coasts and I had to make new friends right away like right when I moved because like I was this 14 year old girl you know like I wanted to have friends but it sure. was hard and I felt so different and I felt like I was in somebody else's town, you know, like I didn't know the town. So um, it was hard to adjust. And, you know, I ended up getting in some trouble sometimes because I would meet the wrong people. Like I wouldn't know who the right people would be, you know what I mean? So of course, growing up, I got in some trouble because I just, uh, you know, I was a little misfit. <laughs> and uh, do you have maybe now that you are a bit more grown up, do you have like maybe an, some kind of advice for everyone who is feeling like like a misfit right now or or like doesn't really yeah fit in <laughs> I, I think just take your time um nothing lasts forever that's one thing that i realized growing up i mean for me personally nothing lasted forever and in a way that was horrible because i wanted to stay with my group of friends maybe in south carolina or virginia you know but california was where my heart was and i kept trying to come here and I think just remember what your goals are and as hard as it is being a kid, you know, um, I think it's important to stay um, motivated and maybe like create, create different hobbies, see what you love the most and go from there. Yeah. Just always stick true to yourself and, and yeah. not, not, as, as, as sad as it is that some maybe friendships and uh, also the bad things will end someone so. 100% bad things always end as as horrible as they come you know yeah. they I think they always end and good things will come out of bad things <laughs> that's true okay so I just checking for one next question what's up guys <laughs> where in the world are you all oh I just uh, read something about India and uh, oh my god <laughs> oh my god stay safe in India I heard about that storm Stay safe, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brazil. <laughs> I can't wait to go to Brazil. I haven't, I've never been to Brazil. Austria, oh, I've never been oh, to Austria. Maybe then this is a good question. Will we oh, have yes. <laughs> Will we have a world tour? Oh, my God, you guys. I, I don't know when we're going to have a world tour. I definitely hope it's soon. Who knows? This might, like, go away in two seconds. I'm praying. So we can like go on a world tour. It would be so great. <laughs> I know. I wish. No, but like I, I, I definitely will let you guys know first whenever I find out when the next tour is. But you, I guess you are planning to do a big tour. Oh yes, definitely. I, I'm. I want to travel everywhere. I want to go to places I've never been before. I want to come back to Germany. I. I mean, oh my gosh, I want to tour everywhere. I want to meet all my fans. Yes, they they surely all want to meet you. And uh, that's a, there's a lot of comments um, with places you have to go. So Czech like, Republic. Oh my God, I've never been there either. There's so many places. Turkey. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> you just have to go everywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, oh, I think that's a good one too. Do you have an yeah. idea? Oh my God, I hate saying it because it's so cliche, but wow. my idol is my mom. Oh. <laughs> She taught me a lot. You know, it's funny because moms are always like telling you what to do and you don't want to listen. But yeah. I feel like growing up now, I'm like, she was always right. So even now, so. And, and in, in uh, so, so uh, what about maybe some other artists? Oh, I, for music too. I mean, my mom sang growing up. Can I say my mom? No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> you can't say your mom, but I guess everyone wants to hear you to talk about any other artists. That oh my know. God, so funny. I mean, <laughs> an, another idol, um, I guess Mariah Carey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I grew up listening to Mariah Carey. So, w yeah, what did you love most about her? I think definitely um, her voice. And Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, all the big vocalists. I say this all the time, but I grew up literally singing all of their songs in my basement and with my karaoke machine. <laughs> well, I, I guess we can learn a lot from them. So they, they wouldn't be as, as well known and popular as they are today if they wouldn't be really special. So <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I, I, I grew up with just their CDs in my house. <laughs> So let's look for another question. <laughs> so there are some in German, which is a bit hard. <laughs> oh, this is maybe a good one. So here, what are your favorite lyrics from Blood, Sweat and Tears? Um, right here. Ooh. Um, let's see. Uh, throw my heart out on the pavement. Um, basically, like, you might as well throw my heart out on the pavement. Like, you've already, like, we've already been through it all. Like, yeah. just like, basically, like, I'll, I'll die with you, like, Romeo and Juliet style. Like, I think, like, when you're that much in love, which this song is about, and it can be about career too, you put your blood, sweat, and tears into it. But the like the song like you know if if you if you've done everything with this person, you you don't want to live without this person. Let's yeah. make it work. So it's like I love that. Like just throw my heart out on the pavement if you're just gonna if you want to leave, you know, like that's how it's gonna feel. Well, I guess everyone can relate because everyone has some kind of person or something. Heartbreak, in yeah. That that is so important to them, and that brings me to the next question I wrote uh, when I went through them. And someone was asking um, about one thing that you can't live without. Oh my gosh, my phone, which is now in front of me because of life. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where is it? Oh, it's there. <laughs> you found it. It's like like uh, searching for your glasses while. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's the worst. The other day I was like, where's my wallet? And I had it in my hand. I was like, I need to get eggs. Where is my wallet? And it's like, it was like, right, it was, it was right here. <laughs> so I, I'm happy that doesn't only happen to me because it does a lot. <laughs> well, oh my God. And bread. Oh my God. You know, it's funny. A friend of mine said she can't live without bread in the yeah. comments. Yoli, that's true. I literally can't live without bread, but I'm trying to go gluten free. It's really difficult, <clears throat> but I'm working on it. <laughs> So you're going through with it without any gluten. Yeah, I, it's working. It is? It's okay. working. It's just hard because it, initially it's hard because, you know, bread is sugar. So you crave it if you, the more you eat it. But now I'm like, it's fine. I've been making like some gluten-free treats. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess um, the longer you go without it, uh, the less you miss it. So, and if you I have mean, yeah. us that, that you... When I come to Europe, it's impossible. Yeah, well, we have a lot of really good bread. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so someone uh, in the comments was asking uh, if you have any advice for uh, somebody who would love to uh, also start a singing career. I love this question because it's, diff it's different for everybody. Yeah. Um, I think for me, it took over 15 years of trial and error. <laughs> um, not everybody's going to open you with open arms, especially in a really hard industry. But the one thing I can tell you is that if you are persistent and consistent enough and you work your butt off, <laughs> you will get it. I promise. Especially if you focus on one thing for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that's the only, the only advice that, that, really is fitting for everyone because as long as you try and believe in yourself and and just try harder and harder then eventually <laughs> you'll get to the point where you want to be so um exactly and, uh, i also just read and was reading it uh, beforehand in my other questions um we have a lot of k-pop fans here and oh, hey. they are wondering yeah, how, uh, yeah, what would, would you think about K-pop and especially, of course, BTS? Yeah. 
<laughs> I think they're incredible. I would love to do a song with BTS. Um, I think they're incredible. Blackpink are incredible. Um, great girl group. I love them. They're incredible. Um, I would, yeah, I think they're, they're so talented. And um, I want to see them in concert when, you know, concerts open back up. Yeah, we hope this will happen soon, but you never know. Yeah, I like no. Uh, they would all really love to see like a song from you and BTS or Blackpink or all together. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh my god, that would be a dream. Yeah. Um, I also read in the comments just yet is that um, tomorrow there will be the Germany's Next Top Model finale uh, in, well, Heidi's in LA, but um, <laughs> we have it here in, in um, I think in Cologne. Yeah, so um, some, some were wondering how, how, yeah, your experience was when um, singing at, the, at this uh, episode of um, Jeremy's Next Top Model. How, how was that? <laughs> Because we oh. all know. <laughs> okay, I met Heidi Klum for the first time. She is so tall and gorgeous <laughs> and blonde and like she's like, she's a goddess. And I just, I, I was so happy to be in her presence. <laughs> she was she was incredible and she was so sweet and yeah. everybody was so sweet there and I met so many incredible people and and also I performed and um I performed salt and and um that was the first time being in like a modeling talent show so that was definitely a first for me yeah well I watched I watched the episode and I guess a lot of uh, your friends watched it too and we we, we really loved it and Yeah, and I think it's really cool. It was like a, a Victoria's Secret moment. So you're singing and the moms are walking. It was really great. I know. It was It was that. <laughs> okay. So let's see for... Oh, this is a nice one. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> um, my favorite childhood memory is putting out a blanket in the park and having a picnic with my family. That that was like really a incredible memory I have. And like there would always be parks and like carnivals that would come and like uh, the Ferris wheel, going on the Ferris wheel and little like roller coasters that would come to town. And that was like so fun, like eating cotton candy, going to the picnic, eating like some crackers and cheese, hanging out with my family. It was simple times, simple times, early 2000s. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds really, really fun. And well, um, now that thinking about it, it's, it's just really f far away because of the situation right now. But I know my heart aches, my heart aches for everybody right now. And, and, and obviously the most important thing is for everyone to be safe and healthy. So prayers and positive energy to everybody. Yeah, for you too. And for your family. Thank you. For you too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, and 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 I also wrote a lot about that. Everyone is uh, well get, um, gets a lot of energy from your songs, um, especially now in this time. So I guess you you do a lot for your fans right now. Definitely, and definitely. I try to. <laughs> okay, so then maybe one last question. But so now I have to find a really good one. <laughs> Oh, maybe one last question before the last question. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of them were asking about your hairstyle. So why are you wearing one side shorter than the other? And yeah, just just in general, why? You why know, it's funny. I yeah. I could ask anybody that. I could be like, why are you wearing your hair the same length? You know. So I think it's I think it's a funny question when people ask me that because I'm just like, that's just who I am now. I feel like so connected to this haircut and who knows in a couple of years i might shave my head off or make it really long <laughs> well we all love the hairstyle and and i guess it's just uh, because they're Thanks. so they're just wondering if there's any meaning behind it but as you said just no of course the meaning is <laughs> yeah the meaning is the meaning is just basically do you be yourself and really not care what anyone thinks about how you do your makeup how you do your hair how you cut your hair how you color your hair i think it's important yeah. to have your own individual style that's that's really true <laughs> so okay then maybe we have one last question here 
My fans are like, please don't shave your hair. Okay, maybe I won't. I'm no. sorry. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> They're like scared I'm going to shave my head. Okay. Well, you just, just gave us some kind of advice. Just be yourself. But maybe you have any, any other advice for your younger self because we have a lot of really young followers here and they always love think, advice. Um, <laughs> advice for my younger self. To love yourself more and know your worth and not, um, and to wait to have like a boyfriend. I remember when I was like 16, I would always want to go on like little like, like dates with these stupid little, you know, boys that didn't matter at the time, you know, like they wanted to like hang out and I'd be like, I'm coming. Like it was like, no, just I wish I just took my time and just like enjoyed my teenagehood without boys i guess i don't know just take your time yeah yeah i think that's a that's a really good good kind of advice because yeah this time it, it goes by so fast and yeah just enjoy it eat some cotton candy go on roller co coasters and picnics <laughs> like you yeah 100 percent. <laughs> yeah <laughs> perfect okay so uh that's it for me thank you so so much for joining thank you thank and of you. course Thank you to all of your fans that were joining us and, and posting all of the comments and, and questions. <laughs> so. Yes, thank you, everybody. Hi, Nettie. I, I just saw my friend Nettie. Hi. <laughs> thank yeah. you, everybody. Yeah, thank you. We stay safe. <laughs> we hope to see you very soon in Germany and all over the world. <laughs> yes, I cannot wait to come back to Germany. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you so bye. much. Have a nice day. Thank you. you too. Stay safe. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> yeah, you too. Bye. So, das war's. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Ich habe versucht, so viel wie möglich zu beantworten. Und ähm, ja, am Freitag geht's weiter mit Tate McRae, wieder um 18 Uhr. Falls ihr die auch sehen wollt, dann freue ich mich, wenn ihr wieder dabei seid. Ansonsten erstmal schönen Abend noch. Ciao. Bye. Thank you, everybody.